guys, I'm Karina and welcome to my channel. As you all know, fall is right around the corner and September 22nd marks the first day of fall. But I feel like Toronto is way ahead of its time right now because in the past three days, it's been 16 degrees Celsius here. It's been gloomy, cloudy and rainy. There is zero sunlight. But honestly speaking, I love fall because it's that perfect time of the year where it's not really warm like it is in the summer and it's not freezing cold like the Canadian winter. So it's like that perfect time where fashion as well as home decor everything is just perfect and speaking of home decor i did work on a few pieces in the past few days to decorate my home for fall so today's video is going to be just about that but before we dive right into this video i would love for you to subscribe to my channel and be a part of my youtube family since i post a new video every single week and if you do end up recreating any of my diy projects make sure to tag me on instagram since i would love to repost your creations now, without wasting any more time, let's get started. For this first project, I'm gonna take a bunch of popsicle sticks and I'm gonna arrange them in a line just like this. Now, I'm just gonna apply some hot glue on two of the popsicle sticks and I'm gonna stick it on the left and right side. And this is basically just to hold all the other sticks in place. I'm also going to be sticking two popsicle sticks on the back side and this is just to make sure that none of the other sticks fall out of place. Once I'm done with that, I'm just taking some white acrylic paint and I added a few drops of orange and brown ink and I'm just going to paint the entire surface. In order to create the text for the banner, I'm just taking a rough sheet of paper and I'm writing hello fall on it. And before I started writing this, I did draw a few lines just to make sure that all the letters are on a straight line. Now I'll take a parchment paper and place it over the text and I'm just going to secure this in place so that it does not move around. And now I'll take a hot glue gun and trace over all the letters. And the main reason why I took parchment paper to trace these letters is because I know that it's good enough to take the heat from the hot glue. And when you're tracing this, don't worry about it if it's not too perfect, we can always fix it once the glue dries off. Once the glue dries off completely, you can easily peel it off of the parchment paper. And as you can tell that these words are not perfect since I was using a hot glue gun, but that's completely okay. Now I'm just going to take a pair of scissors and cut off all the imperfections. So here comes the fun part. I'm just taking some brown acrylic paint and I'm painting over both of these words. Once the paint dries off completely, I'm just gonna take some glue and I'll paste both of these words on the popsicle sticks. This is my favorite part about this DIY project. I absolutely love painting, but honestly speaking, I have not painted in the past year. And this is the first time I'm painting after a very long time. And I absolutely love this. It was so therapeutic doing this. And yeah, I just drew a pumpkin on a textured paper and I'm just using some watercolors to paint this. Once the paint dries off completely, I'm just gonna cut around it with a pair of scissors. Now I'll apply some glue on the back of my painting and I'm going to stick it on the bottom left corner just like this. And lastly, I'm going to apply some glue on the back of the banner in order to stick a string. And that's it. I'm done with this project. I absolutely love how this turned out and I'm super excited to hang this in my house. For this project, I'll be using this glass jar and this was just an old marinara jar so I just cleaned it up. And I also purchased this bunch of fake leaves from Michaels and I just pulled out all the leaves from the stems and that's what I'll be using for this project. Start off by applying some glue on one section of the jar and just spread it around evenly with your fingers. Now place the leaf on the glue and also spread some of the glue around on top of the leaf as well. Now repeat the same process in order to stick all the other leaves around the jar. Once I was done sticking all the leaves around the jar, I let it dry overnight. On the next day, the glue had dried off completely and I absolutely love how all of these leaves were nicely secured in place. And there was just this one leaf that was extended so I just had to cut that off with a pair of scissors. And once I was done with that, I just used this jute rope to cover the top of the jar. 
In order to secure the rope in place, I just applied some hot glue in tiny little sections and I kept wrapping the rope around the jar. And that's it, we're done with this DIY project. Now all I have to do is place a tea light inside this jar and light it up. a heads up here this is the first time I'm working with an air dry clay in the past I did work with clay in my desk decor video which I'm gonna link right here and that's when I created my clay coasters but the best part about that was that I could just uh, bake the clay and it would dry out and it would be fine but when it comes to air dry clay I have to let it dry overnight and it has to be done naturally so I can't bake it or anything so I'm really hoping that this works out I purchased this air dry clay from the dollar store and it was only $1.25 and I thought it was really cheap so I'm just gonna open this up and I'm gonna use half of this pack for this project. I'm gonna warm up this clay in my palms and I'm gonna start flattening it and I'm gonna make it as flat as I can with my fingers and once I can't go any further I'm just gonna take this glass jar and make it really flat. Now I'm going to place this leaf on top of the clay and I'm going to press it in by rolling a glass jar on top of it. Now I'm going to take a blade and I'm going to cut around the leaf and I'll remove all the extra clay that I don't need. Now I'll gently peel off the leaf from the clay and I'll just use my fingers to smooth out all the edges. I'm gonna use this cling wrap and I'm gonna wrap a bowl with this just to make sure that the clay does not stick on it. And I'm gonna take the leaf and I'm gonna place it upside down on this bowl so that it can take the shape and it can dry off overnight. On the next day when I went to pick the clay up, it literally broke into three pieces. So this is the reality of working on a DIY project. Um, not everything's gonna be perfect, not everything's gonna work out according to your plan, and that is completely okay. There was a high chance I was literally just gonna scrap this entire project and make something new and make this video perfect, but I wanted to be transparent with you and let you know that the reality is that I messed up. I don't know what I did wrong still. Maybe it's the fact that I used a very cheap air dry clay, maybe I need to buy an expensive one, or maybe my technique was wrong. But I promise you I'm gonna do my research Search and master the skill of using air dry clay and one day hopefully there will be a dedicated video just on DIY projects made of air dry clay but until then I'm gonna try to salvage the best of whatever I have right now hopefully I can glue all these pieces back together and make this project look good I'm using some E6000 to stick the pieces together I've already done the first two pieces and I think it works so I'm gonna do the third one as well and I'm just gonna apply a lot of glue here just to make sure that this really works and it does not fall apart again. While I was gluing this together, another piece broke off as well and I guess this is when I should have given up on this piece but I really wanted this to work and I did not want to give up so I'm just gonna attach the fourth piece with some glue as well. After a few hours, the glue had completely dried off and this piece was intact so now I'm going to take some light grey acrylic paint and I'm going to just paint all over it. Although you can see a few imperfections here, but if you're going to use this dish to place your home keys on it or if you're going to place a candle on it, it's going to cover up all the imperfections. glad that this worked out I'm so glad I did not disappoint myself or you guys and I am in love with how it turned out but do let me know which one was your favorite in the comment section below since I would love to know and just to let you know my favorite was this hello fall banner it looks so good and it's gonna look good wherever I keep it but have a wonderful rest of your day and you'll see me very soon in my next video bye